hoping to find some minnows guys and catch them for you guys but I can only find some empty snail shells unfortunately for now because you see the water is super clear and nice but maybe the minnows are on the other side so we'll go check it out so guys in front of me is uh, actually a bunch of geese and they're already looking at us with my dog over here he's very curious and he wants to uh, attack them right away but I'm not too sure if we'll be able to pass. Do you guys want to check it out? Look how many there are. There's so many of them. So let's hope for the best, I guess. Welcome back guys to another video of Mark's Fish Care and I'm as usual walking out my dog and getting this uh, video started for you guys and what I'm thinking is uh, I wanted to actually ask you guys what you think and what I should do because uh, I kind of uh, wanted to buy a beta fish actually I used to have a bunch that's how I started in the fish uh, keeping anyways but I wanted to see what you guys think maybe I should buy a beta fish and actually I was thinking maybe buy this like a little swimming pool for kids and uh, make a pond in my basement with, which would be very cool but the only problem with that is that I currently in the process of selling my home so there's always people coming in and uh, somebody else so I can't really be expanding too much at the moment but that's definitely something that I will consider in the future. And that's why I kind of want to move to a bigger place so I can actually have more opportunities to film for you guys and do some stuff. But I finally went to the store today in the morning. I got an egg treatment uh, formula and I hope it will help my uh, clownfish because I don't want to lose the poor guy. He's very cool and I like him a lot. And in today's video, I will be probably... Uh, uh, talking about uh, an update and doing an update on my saltwater aquarium and we will be looking uh, deeply into my 36 gallon planted aquarium which uh, uh, you guys didn't see in a while I think it's time I think it's time maybe to do something with it trim it down see how my population of uh, how my population of Molly's doing and find some other fish because I actually have a one fish in there which you guys probably forgot already and I don't blame you and it's uh, it's actually what's his name uh, stick catfish and he's been there for a while uh, in my aquarium but I never, can never see him because there are so many plants but the plants do, are so beneficial to the aquarium and I don't want to get rid of them but with all this mess that's going on right now I can't really expand much because more aquariums I add, it will uh, add me more work and uh, it's very hard to do all this stuff right now. So I'm really hoping I can get the home sell, sold as soon as possible and move to something bigger uh, so I can uh, start filming for you guys uh, more stuff and expand, like maybe build a pond outside, maybe uh, uh, build an aquarium in the wall. Like uh, there's so many possibilities, right? But uh, that's why I'm working on this channel and I'm on the road to 1000 subscribers already. And thanks to you guys, I'm here where I am at the moment. And it's super exciting because uh, 1000 subscribers, if I reach it, let's say by the end of this year, hopefully even earlier, I will be able to expand my channel a little bit more. And I'm working on the uh, watching minutes as well because it, it costs a lot of, uh, a lot of money to be honest to start a youtube channel especially in a uh, fish uh, keeping hobby i kind of had a, most of the equipment at the start but uh there's always something that you have to buy and do be, uh, and do kind of that kind of stuff so uh, that's why i cannot re really expand so much and there's only so much i can do because i don't have much room and i don't have a backyard and with having a backyard would help me a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed uh will enjoy this video and i'll see you back in my fish room
guys, this is what I bought. Super Ecure. This is, uh, I'm not sponsoring anything. I just pretty much found what I could. And on the bottle itself, it doesn't specifically say that it's good for salt water. But uh, on the internet and their website, it says that it can be used as long as you, of course, uh, take out all of the carbon out of the aquarium uh, during the treatment period. And hopefully it will work. It has a good rating on the internet. It's 4.2 out of 5. So looks like it does help. And actually my, um, I'll come and show you right away. My uh, clownfish is doing a little bit better even without it. So, but I will still definitely treat this, uh, treat the aquarium with this because uh, I would really love to save at least him. So actually guys, it does say over here on the back um, uh, that it's uh, good for salt water. The only problem is that uh, the corals might be very sensitive to this stuff, but otherwise everything else should be fine. And look at this color, it's so dark blue. I have to use uh, approximately five milliliters for five uh, gallons. So right now I am at five and I already put 10 in. And look at the color right now. Look at this, wow, it's insane. Already removed the carbon out of the aquarium and my clownfish is right over here. And you see his behavior is not very good, but the ick is very hard to notice right now. Yesterday it was way worse. So I'm hoping that uh, he will be fine. And I will keep you updated how this stuff worked. So this is my 36 uh, gallon planted aquarium, guys. And look at these mollies. It's a feeding time right now for them. So they, they're so excited to see me and I'm excited to see them as well. And they're all happy swimming around and enjoying their home and ready to have some food. But before we feed these guys, I wanna get straight to this guy over here, which I talked to earlier in this video, uh, stick catfish. And this guy, um, I talked about him a couple times actually, but uh, we didn't really see him much in this aquarium. And look who, he's uh, looks like he's actually ready for you guys for filming. So he came out from his uh, little cave and he's always feeding on different types of algae and different uh, kind of like uh, some uh, stuff. So they usually call them stick catfish or twig catfish. And they're super unique by the way they look uh, because uh, they get to be about nine inches in length. So that's something to consider if you guys will ever come across uh, these guys and you want to buy them. And they can live in groups uh, or even more. They're pretty peaceful among their own kind. And in general, it's a peaceful fish. And usually you can even touch it with the hand, it won't even move because it doesn't swim, it just pretty much hops from one leaf to another leaf. So that's pretty cool, I thought I'll show you guys because we didn't really look at it that much before. But anyways, let's get back to this aquarium. So what's happening here? Look, all the plants are actually overgrowing the aquarium again. And I need to trim it down uh, completely. I'm not going to be replanting it again because there's no point all the tall plants on the back or the medium plants in the middle and the little, little guys over here. So no point in uh, doing that. But uh, everybody else are doing fine. Look at my Kuli Loaches. He's, ex Kuli Loach. He's excited for food as well. There's some new Tetras over there. More Molly, some baby Mollies around everywhere. And um, actually I found one Kuli Loach. Um, he, he died for no reason. I don't know what happened to him, but I guess we'll never find out. So the canister filter, Eheim canister filter is doing phenomenal job, super quiet. As you can, it's hard to tell, sorry, because my other uh, aquarium is, uh, filter is running on the background. But uh, it's very quiet, uh, keeps the water cr cr crystal clear and um, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And there's a ton of mollies, like these mollies, they, I'm happy that I will reveal what's uh, happening. I actually found uh, a home for a few of them. And I will be downgrading from my 55 gallon, which is over here. I'll be downgrading uh, to a 20 gallon top fin probably. Uh, and I will be taking this guy over to somebody else's house and we will be putting some new fish in there and creating a brand new environment for them. So that's gonna be exciting. If you guys wanna stay tuned for that, please consider subscribing. If you haven't already, of course. And this stuff is coming up probably this week or next week, guys. 
but in terms of this aquarium and tank it's my one of my first tanks uh, in this aquarium and it's doing phenomenal everything is uh, doing okay and the, uh, the all the plants are uh, filtering water and the fish are happy that's the main point so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video which was a lot of nature and some fish like always and stay tuned for more because there's a lot of more coming a lot of more exciting stuff coming i'm actually um have some cool stuff planned out for you guys so stay tuned for that and um, have a good and wonderful day i'll see you in my next video